Hey friends, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Clear and Brilliant by Laser Way. It's a fractional laser technology facial, um, which will help diminish fine lines, help with um, darkness, um, spots, shrink pores, increase collagen production. So I'm really excited to show you guys my entire experience going into Laser Way, getting the facial and all the days for a whole week following up. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Thank you to LaserWay so much for um, offering this complimentary treatment. This video is not sponsored, but they did um, provide the facial for me, so I'm really grateful. And you guys know I keep it 100 up in here, so it's going to always be honest, and I'm going to tell you exactly what happens. I'm here in the LaserWay bathroom. They gave me numbing cream, so I guess I'm supposed to put it all over my face. Okay, I think... I think I did a good job. I don't even, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to put it around my head like a headband. Tell me why I was not smart enough to do that. So I'm here in the waiting area in the back with the numbing cream. I think it's been like 15 minutes. I accidentally got some on my lip. So like my lips feel numb, but they kind of look plumper. Hey, tell me these secrets. What product is this? So I just washed off the numbing cream and then pat my face with a towel. My lips are so numb and like my face, like it feels like when you go to the dentist and your mouth is numb, but it's like the entire face. More parts, like the cheeks are numb and the lip, the nose. This side, yeah. I'm just trying to see if they're all numb. It's all numb, you guys. Got it. Okay, they're gonna put stickers on my eyes, so I am trying to film this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. And this is just to protect it from the laser. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I'll get started on your forehead. Okay. Starting now, it's gonna feel kind of like a hot scratch, but I think you're pretty numb. How's that? Mm hmm. That's okay. Good. Cool. I mean, I feel some scratching, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. It feels like Jakey would scratch my face or something. Oh my gosh, what a little bully. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but the forehead part, I think I missed the numbing part there. Uh, it's all yeah, good. Right here. Dang, I missed that part. So during your sandpaper stage, just make sure you don't scrub it off. I know it's really tempting to, but just wait for it to slough off and heal on its own. Usually it um, goes off the center out. Really? Mm -hmm. you, you, I can't like take it off, like, like pull a scab. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I, my face is red, and they put the Jet Setter Mask by Laser Way on my face. It kind of hurt, you guys. Next time, I need to do the extra strength um, numbing cream. Um, but I did it, you guys. The mask is off, you guys. J Lo glowing skin. Just <laughs> <laughs> and then this is just aloe and vitamin C. The redness is already down. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Just a little bit pink. Let's get real close, you guys. Even before I went to Laser Way to get this treatment on my face, um, I went to Nordstrom Rack because I had extra time and I lost my packable hat. You know that packable hat that I stay wearing? I call it my old lady hat. Look, Nordstrom Rack sells it for $15. It's by the Nordstrom Rack brand. Um, it looks like this. You can just pack it anywhere. It's got the elastic. So I packed it in my purse. Oh my God, let me also share. I freaking bought a bra. Like, is that TMI? This bra is thin, but it has a little padding so it will cover the nipples. It's by Notori. So, um, and y'all, retail is $66 for this bra. I got it for $27. Yes, I love me a deal. So anyways, my skin is not even as red as I thought it would be. Let me get real close. Do you guys see? It did hurt though, you guys. Like, the there were some parts that were number than others. I would keep the numbing cream a lot longer next time. What else would I have done? Um, next time I'm getting the extra strength um, numbing cream because I guess they have that. And I forgot to do close to the ear because you know, the close to the ear is part of your facial skin. So they go in like right there and I didn't even, that's where I felt the pain y'all. And like right here on the chin, I forgot to put cream there. So I would be very liberal with the cream. Like I would actually use 
maybe bring gloves with me and like smother it all over my face like right here on the neck especially on the hairline because you forget like that's part of your your face too and like I didn't get the cream like on the hairline so like I would recommend you do that like if you get clear brilliant because that would make it um an experience that would be less painful but like you guys i don't know if it's mind over matter but i'm feeling the glow like do you guys see a little bit of the glow yes yeah, so um what i was told for aftercare is that i wash my face with a gentle cleanser no exfoliating and moisturize with no retinol products because retinol will kind of like burn your skin um, but other than that tomorrow she said I can wear makeup but to always wear sunscreen because I did have like a laser treatment but other than that she said the third day I might be peeling to not pull my scab I'm the type of person who kind of does like to pull scabs so that's gonna be hard for me but other than that I'm feeling good my face is still feeling numb my, my mouth is feeling hecka numb but yeah I'm ready to go home I'm ready to show Justin my JLo glow just kidding <laughs> <laughs> it's not glowing yet. It takes days for me to see the glow. In my room, this is an hour after I got the clear and brilliant. So I noticed it's a little red here and here. Um, it was hot for a while, but I drove home with the AC on like on my face. So that felt good. But other than that, it just, I can't describe it. It feels like a, like a stinging right now. That's how it feels like. Um, it's not as red everywhere as I thought it would be. But I definitely feel like like a stinging. So this is one hour after the treatment. Hey friends, good morning. So today is the first day after the treatment. So this is what my face looks like up close. As you guys can see, it's really red. A lot more red than yesterday, actually. I thought that when I went to bed, like, it would not look this red. But it really... I mean, look at my neck and look at my face. <laughs> it's very red. Um, it doesn't hurt, though. And also, it feels really soft. But it looks, like, really painful. But it honestly... It doesn't hurt at all. Like, like I felt like yesterday had stinging and it felt hot. But then today, it didn't. I did sleep with a silk pillowcase. I just felt like that would help with the skin and the scratching. So I'm going to continue to sleep with my silk pillowcase. Maybe wash it every other day or something like that. Um, but um, my skin, you know, looks a little crazy. But hopefully it looks better. But I did want to share some products I use for my nighttime skincare routine. Because I changed it up um, so that it didn't have any retinol products. And that they were all very gentle. So while my face is healing from the clear and brilliant treatment, I was told to use all gentle products. And so I washed my face last night with my Dry Skin Relief Dove Derma Series Face Wash. Um, it really helps because it's for dry, itchy skin. So I figured this is really gentle. And so I just started using this. And then after that, I pat dry my face. I wasn't I was told actually to not use toner, so I skipped that because, you know, toner could really sting, especially after your skin is so raw and sensitive. And then I use my BioEffect EGF serum. I swear by this serum. I'm 33 and I swear I don't really have much wrinkles, and it's because I've been using this for like the past couple of years. I swear by it. It's really expensive, but it really works. Highly recommend it, you guys. And then for my face cream, let's like move it so that I can show you guys like my steps. For face cream, I love the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. But I know this one is so gentle. So I decided to kind of just start using this. This is by Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I just feel like this is more gentle than the micro sculpting cream and I'm not sure if my micro sculpting cream has retinol. So I just wanted to be safe so I'm using this instead. And then for the eye cream, this is super gentle, no retinol. So it's the Shaba Complex Eye Serum by Drunk Elephant as well. Um, really gentle products if you guys are looking for a skincare line that um, doesn't cause redness. And then if I'm going out and about, I always use an SPF and you're, you're supposed to use an SPF with a higher... Um, SPF, I mean a sunscreen with a higher SPF. So I'm using La Roche Posay and it has SPF 60. I like it because it's like liquidy and you can wear it really well under makeup when you are ready to wear makeup um, 
or if you do wear makeup after the clear and brilliant treatment um, typically if I'm just at home editing all day every day I use this it's the Dove Derma Series dry skin relief and it has SPF 15 it's very gentle I wish it would have at least an SPF 30 but at home like I'm just home <laughs> editing you know so that's what I'm using during my treatment and afterwards I will you know switch it up to the products that I use regularly but for now like I'm going to just continue to use this face wash because it doesn't um irritate my skin at all and of course I can't forget the lips I know the lips didn't get the treatment and all that but I love this this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask it's in the strawberry scent been using this forever hey friends so it's actually a few hours now and I just wanted to show my skin because it's changing a little bit I took a shower got ready for the day and I noticed I'm peeling right here do you guys see that it's peeling here I feel like it's not as red as when I woke up this morning. Do you guys notice that? Um, I am wearing makeup though. I'm wearing eyebrow, eyes, um, lip product, but my skin, like I didn't want to do anything with that. I didn't want to put foundation or anything. All I have is my SPF. Um, this one is the La Roche Posay. It's the SPF 60. So I have that and that is all like I'm not gonna try to put foundation I was told that after 12 hours you can wear like a full face of makeup but I would prefer to just wear the sunscreen and let my face breathe and all of that so today is day three two days after the clear and brilliant treatment my face no longer has any sensitivity I feel no pain um, what I do notice is that it's starting to get to that sandy texture um, my face does look red if you guys can see like it's really red compared to my neck that's when you can tell right but right here is where it's like kind of the skin is coming off and kind of crusting especially right here if you guys see this um i am so tempted like i just showered and like when i was in the shower i was like so tempted to like pull off the scabs but i was told not to to just let it fall off on its own um, but I do see the light at the end of the tunnel like it feels so soft here and I know that when all of this comes off it's gonna be so soft it's nighttime I washed my face and everything if you guys can see it's still red and peeling around here even more red after I showered um, I decided to put this on my face Aveeno baby eczema therapy nighttime balm on like the spots that are kind of really dry I put this on my son so I was like why not put it on myself so we shall see I'll see you guys tomorrow hey friends it is day four three days after clear and brilliant it's looking good you guys it's less red it's not as peely right here if you guys notice it's feeling really smooth I noticed last night my face was itchy I think that was like the dry skin like coming off but it was like itchy especially on the forehead but other than that like it doesn't have that sandy texture I feel like in like a day or two the redness will probably go away but everything's good you guys I'm really happy about this hey friends so it is day five I just got back from the gym um, my skin looks pretty normal a little bit of redness but it's no longer peeling I did wash my hands like I'm not about to touch my face without washing my hands after the gym right um, the texture it feels soft but some parts still feel a little grainy um, this part always has felt really soft like this area but like here it still feels a little crusty but there's not much dry skin left that came can come off um, but other than that it's it's getting better every day and so today is day six um, lighting is a little weird it's raining outside but this is my skin so far it feels great um, the forehead has some dry patches um, but it's not as dry or red here I was about to do my makeup and I already did my eyebrows and I'm like wait I can't put anything on my face I forgot to update so so today is day seven my skin feels really smooth I feel like it's more like glowy all right you guys I'm up close sorry to be all up in your face but you guys know it's been this way the whole video but if you guys can see my skin it seems a lot brighter there's still redness right here my pores they look smaller for some reason and also oh my gosh this is really embarrassing to say but the I always thought I had freckles but I realized after this laser treatment for my face that I freaking had sunspots that I thought were freckles like a lot like if you guys 
have seen me without my makeup you guys see like all my spots and stuff but I feel like they have gradually been going away and fading away since getting you know the clear and brilliant treatment so definitely would recommend clear and brilliant there are some downsides such as the pain I wish I had taken the extra strength numbing cream instead and also if you guys ever decide to do this really get to the hairline it doesn't matter if it gets into your hair what matters the most is that you're comfortable right right give me a high five if you know what I mean you know um, and also the downtime like for me I feel like it took three full days for me to actually feel comfortable to go out and pick up my kids without looking crazy. I mean, did you guys see, like, I think it was like the second day I straight up wore a full face of makeup on my eye, but then my skin was looking crazy. So, um, you might need to take some time off work if you, you know, work somewhere where your face, like, what, like, if it affects, you know, your work. You know what I mean? Yeah, so other than that, Highly recommend it. Might might want to do it when you like collect all those days off or something like that, or like or I don't even know when. But definitely want to do it again. I just don't know timing and when because it would be a time where you're not so busy when things are slower with work and things like that. Um, but I want to do it again. Like I do notice a glow. I do notice my pores being smaller and definitely brightening and also a little bit of fading of um, my sunspots which I I didn't know it would happen but i um, very grateful for this experience today is day 10 after the clear and brilliant facial I have a full face of makeup obviously but I feel like my makeup goes on so smooth and I just love that so I hope that you guys enjoyed all the days going through with me and like all the stuff that happened during this facial but I really like it I would do it again I just have to find the time when I'm able to like in between like filming and just yeah a lot of filming and traveling with the family but thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful please subscribe give the video a thumbs up i have many more videos on this channel would love for you to check it out i do mommy videos cleaning videos makeup reviews i'm also a cooking vlogger on cook with april and i also have a family vlog called april justin tv if you guys want to check it out um, i'll see you guys next time bye